TV. And today we're gonna be talking about some very creepy man in the moon stories. We're also gonna be talking about just some generally disturbing facts about the moon that you probably never heard of before. So after you watch this video, you're gonna look at the moon completely differently. <laughs> I don't know why I made that voice. The moon will never be the same. No, seriously though, after I did research for this video, my perception of the moon has changed. Not in like a bad way, but it's kind of slightly creepier to me. So without further ado, let's get started. So have you guys ever heard the saying, the man in the moon? This has been a common saying for hundreds of years. Think of all the movies and shows that show a face on the moon. Because the moon isn't an even surface, you can visibly see the bumps and shadows when you look at it. And for years, people have been saying that those shadows resemble a human face. Actually, in ancient folklore, people have said that the man in the moon looks like a man who's carrying a bundle of sticks on his back, but others say they simply just see a face. So I want to know, comment down below if you've ever seen a face on the moon. I feel like if I really squint my eyes, maybe? But when I see pictures of people who see a face, I can see it as well. There have been people that have reported being out on a nightly stroll, and they look up at the moon and see it blink back at them as if it was alive and watching them. So people have literally reported being out on a walk having a peaceful time and the moon actually moves its face it blinks it looks like it's actually staring at them I've never had that experience but it sounds pretty freaky there was a story about a man who was camping in the middle of the forest and he got up in the middle of the night to go to the washroom he looked up at the moon and he could have sworn that it repeatedly whispered his name he said he saw the mouth moving and everything imagine being outside and the moon's like Jesse Jesse. So like I said, if you simply just go outside and look at the moon and try and find the face, it's pretty hard to see. In fact, sometimes it's so hard to see a face that many people don't even believe there is one. Sometimes you need to use a telescope to see it even clearer. But there's a creepypasta that if you stare at the moon for too long trying to find the face, it will show up in your dreams that night. Which seems like a pretty creepy thing to think about. Imagine just peacefully dreaming and suddenly this like face pops up. So let's get into some other creepy facts about the moon that you may not have heard of before. The first one is that there's actually trash on the moon. Humans trash a lot of things, including the moon. There are 200 tons of trash left on the moon. Most of it is space junk, but some of it was left behind by astronauts. Some trash on the moon includes satellites, rockets, cameras, golf balls. They even have the ashes of a dead scientist scientist on the moon. Yeah. This next fact is so eerie to think about, and it is that the moon will actually disappear one day. Every year, the moon's orbit moves four centimeters away from Earth. It doesn't seem like much, but over time, the moon will be farther and farther away. So if the Earth is around long enough, the moon could disappear. Imagine going to sleep one night and it's just extra, extra dark and you can't find the moon anywhere. That's tough to think about. The next fact is that there are our footprints on the moon right now. Despite the fact that humans haven't been on the moon in over 40 years, there are still fresh footprints on the moon's surface. These footprints are actually still the same human footprints from years ago. Because there's no wind or water on the moon, they just stay put exactly where they are. So these footprints can last millions of years unless they are removed. This next fact is about a full moon and how it can actually affect your mind and body. If you have a hard time sleeping during a full moon, you're not crazy. A study in Switzerland showed that you may experience less deep sleep and have a harder time falling asleep during the full moon. So if you have a full night of insomnia and can't sleep at all, check outside your window and see what the moon looks like. This next fact is about a blood moon, which looks pretty creepy. The moon can turn a creepy shade of red and it really freaks people out. But the blood moon isn't a paranormal event. It just happens when the earth casts an orange red shadow on the moon's surface. So it's nothing to be afraid of, but it definitely looks really cool. The next fact is that there are moon quakes on the moon. Earthquakes, moon quakes. Just like earthquakes on the earth, the moon experiences moon quakes from time to time. Apparently they aren't super intense moon quakes. They only last a few 
two minutes, but still, that's kind of interesting. The next fact is that the moon has some pretty extreme temperature changes. It can be as high as 200 degrees Fahrenheit and as low as minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is also why it would not be suitable for us humans to live on the moon because we cannot live in those climates. And the last thing I want to talk about when it comes to creepy stuff with the moon is that someone saw a strange man walking on the moon and it really spooked people around the world. The internet is going crazy over the fact that a dark human-like figure has been spotted on the moon's surface. Someone found the possible alien while checking out Google Moon. So Google Moon is literally just like Google Earth except for the moon. I actually didn't even know this was a thing but if you go on Google Moon you can like zoom up and like look around the moon. It's actually kind of cool. So he sees a figure that looks like an alien is taking a casual stroll on the Earth's natural satellite. And it's so true. I mean, if you look at this picture, it looks like a skinny, tall, creepy alien just chilling out. Some are saying that this finally proves that aliens do in fact exist, but other people are just saying that it was probably a piece of dust or dirt on the camera lens, which caused it to look like a figure on the moon. And NASA has not weighed in on the subject, at least from what I could find in research. So let me know down below, do you think this actually could be some alien creepy creature or do you think it's just like something wrong with the camera possibly? But I personally believe there is like other life out there somewhere and who knows? They could be walking over the moon. <laughs> Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Before I get going, I just want to remind you that if you want to win this backdrop behind me, I'm announcing the winner literally next week. All you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, so my Jesse V channel, turn on your notification bell, and then head over to my Twitter page, follow me there, and comment the snowflake emoji on my pinned post. That's all you have to do to be entered. I cannot believe that January is almost over. It's literally... February. So I will be announcing the winner super, super soon, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!